friends and the people you mix with plays such a big role in how productive you are going to be. Some people get together, the only thing they like is to watch. What are you watching? Cricket. What else? Football. What else? The movies. What else? Well, this thing and that thing. Golf. Golf, subhanAllah, has become a big thing. So if that is the only thing you are doing, then believe me, you need, your company needs a little bit of adjustment because life is not all about golf. You know, when the angel asks you uh, questions, you can't say, oh, I played 18 holes off par. I played 18 holes off par. That's not going to help. That was just part of your amusement in the dunya. We're not saying it's wrong, for example, to have a game of golf, but to give it preference over your dean is definitely wrong. To forget about the fact that you might die on the golf course. And we've had people who have, who, whom that has happened to. Then what will happen? Nobody's going to say he used to use the ping club. You know, the club ping, P-I-N-G. Wow, nice club used by people top people nobody's gonna ask you that so we need to direct a little bit whilst we are amusing ourselves in the dunya life is not all about entertainment alone no the most or the people who are most at loss as muslimin are those who think life is all about party come friday night we're out in the party come friday night we go out every friday what do we do we party until the early morning when the people are going for fajr and you know what we are doing? We are heading in the other direction. People are going for Fajr and we are going back to bed. Whilst the prayer is being called towards and we are heading in another direction. If that is our life and we have reduced it to partying and enjoying every weekend, where is the productivity? We have lost focus. Sometimes the new generation gets so involved in movies and so involved in entertainment that they feel without thinking their life is all about entertainment, partying, all day. Everything is about a party at this house and that house. And next week we're going to meet at this house. Where are the halakat? Where is something that you've done for your deen? Why don't you choose some weekends to come out to a talk like this as a family, for example, or go and mobilize, go and get people, get someone to talk to you. Not everyone is going to be able to talk to you on a certain level, but at least share what you have. Get some recitation of Quran, get a little teacher, get someone to explain to you one verse of the Quran. It doesn't need to be so long because nowadays what we've noticed when you prolong something to do with spirituality and religion, people become a little bit put off. So if I were to talk to you for one hour, perhaps you would listen. The minute I stretch it to the next hour, we'll start finding people stretching their hands. You know, we'll find people yawning and they do it purposely, you know. In one lecture, I told the brothers and the sisters that I will end the talk when I see the first person yawning. So immediately I said, please don't yawn intentionally. <laughs> but mashallah, I didn't find any of that yawning. But I thought to myself, if someone wants to stop me, they just got to go, ah, you know, and it's over. I'll say, thank you. He's yawning. I'm gone. But productivity is that we don't bore people with things. Don't make them bored. Say something that is relevant. Say something that will benefit them. Keep them on their toes. You know, this is why the hadith, the Prophet says, ma qalla wa kafa khayrun mimma kathura wa alha. That which is short to the point is better than that which is much more and it distracts you.